Hello folks and welcome back to the channel. It is all about racing. In this particular episode, we're going to take out a 124 scale NASCAR car. This being the number 36 Pontiac Grand Prix that Ken Schrader drove back in 2002. And on this particular car, uh, this livery was for a special promotion. And we're going to talk about that promotion right now. The name of this promotion was the Global Color Vote. And as you can see, there are three M&Ms there. Uh, first ever global vote where you could choose either purple, pink, or this blue. And they would have one of the M&M characters painting the car, in this case, the box with that particular color. And on the front of the box, you can see the blue M&M painting pink, the red M&M painting green. And on this side of the box, you have the yellow guy painting purple. And on the top of the box, you have the blue guy painting pink. On the bottom of it, you have a very distressed red M&M painting this kind of blue-green. Now, the car itself follows with that theme. You can see the red guy, or the red M&M. I should say the red guy, and I'm not even sure what we call him. I just call him the red M&M. And he is painting this side of the car, the driver's side of the car, this blue-green color. And it actually is a lighter blue-green than it appears on this. It's kind of like... Almost like uh, what they they call Bianchi Blue or Caribbean Blue or Mediterranean Blue, whatever. A very, very light green, not not really a blue. But anyhow, he, he looks terribly distressed painting the side of the car, hanging on by, the, by a string or that rope there, the poor guy. And the front of the car has no real theme. You just see the, the, uh, the M&M, you see the Pontiac Grand Prix there, very nicely done. Absolutely gorgeous car. There's pedigree on the front, which I believe is, a, is an M&M or an M&M Mars company. And on the interior of it, you can see the very, you can see the stick shift, the steering wheel, the seat belt, and really very nicely detailed models these are. And you can take these apart with just three screws, pull the body right off, and take a look at the uh, at the inside of the car. And I've done this with a number of them. In fact, I've even made a video about it. So check that out if you haven't already. And here on the passenger side of the car, you have the blue M&M painting pink all over it. He looks fairly confident he's going to win. He's giving you a thumbs up saying, vote for me. And again, if you look inside, you can see more nice detail. That you can actually take, this, as I mentioned, this, this window panel off and replace it with the other one. The other one's also got a, uh, got a hole in it there. And you see Ken Schrader, the Ken with Schrader on there. You know, Kenny Schrader was the guy that ran the Mars M&M's car for years and years and years before Kyle Busch took over. Uh, and Kyle Busch, quite frankly, was far more successful than Kenny Schrader was, but there were sure good times when Kenny ran it as well. And on the very back of the car, you have the yellow M&M, and he's got purple. And, you know, he's been a little sloppy, and for some reason, he just doesn't feel real well about it. I don't know why, but uh, anyhow... I think it looks great. I absolutely love this car. And there's Snickers. I think that's another Mars M&M uh, brand that they have. And here you can see the inside of the car. And boy, the, I tell you, these Team Calvert cars, absolutely beautiful detail that you get with these. And there you spin it around again. Now these cars come in these boxes that you see here, and this is the Team Caliper Owner Series. It's an absolutely gorgeous box. I love how the inside of the top flap of it uh, basically gives you a breakdown of the entire car and how you can recognize each and every piece of it. And as I mentioned, it only takes three screws to pull these, uh, these cars apart, and you can see the interior of the car completely there. Absolutely beautiful work that they do on this. And then you have your owner's series card in there, as you can see right there. Comes with a coin. I have tried to pull the coins out of these boxes, and you just can't get them out. And then there's an extra window panel that you see right there. A little container. And the car fits very nicely in there. And I'm sure those of you that own these cars know just how detailed the bottom of it is. It is absolutely amazing that the amount of detail they go. I mean, guys, look at this. You got wires, you got the radiator, you got the transmission, you got the exhaust, you've got the suspension system. All nicely. I mean, look at this. Just amazing. Not to mention in the bottom here, this tells you that you have number 351 out of, I believe it is, 
like 3,120 or something like that. And folks, this is what I call a true limited edition car, where you actually have a documented proof. You have something. In this case, it's this little metal tag that you have on, on the fuel tank that tells you exactly what number you have in the series of that. And that, to me, folks, is a real limited edition car. And I would be amiss if I didn't mention that the hood actually does open, and you can see the interior details of the car. And also under the hood, uh, you have the two M&Ms there. You have the red one and the yellow M&M waving high to you. How very cool. And you can see the, uh, you know, notice the hood has the uh, those little tethers attached to it. They did that to keep the hood from flying away in accidents, and uh, and T Caliper has rather nicely applied it to this car and the hinges on it do work very very nice so folks what do you think of the 36 m&m car and if anybody out there knows which color or and or which flavor they are or one would you please let me know in the comment section because i do not remember thanks for watching see you next time